sports, music lessons, and more. We want our kids to be active and involved, but are we taking it too far? You're just trying to juggle too many things at a time. If we continue to push these children, they, the burnout rate will, you know, go through the roof. Do you feel like you're constantly chauffeuring your, I could ask here, Drew. I know. Do you feel like you're constantly <laughs> chauffeuring your kids from one activity to the next, you're rushing here and there, you are struggling to somehow fit it all in. It is really hard to find that balance. Well, tonight, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a look at the real impact of overscheduling your family and the red flags that your children are doing just too much. On this day in West Bloomfield, a tennis lesson for a visiting cousin is the only thing on 14-year-old Andrew Schulman's schedule. But his mom, Susan, admits when it comes to balancing activities, it's a tough call. It's a constant struggle, and I think my peer group and I are always looking for the best opportunities for the kids. After school, they should have a sport, they should have a music lesson, they should have a youth group to go to. Andrew has decided to focus on the school tennis team this fall, but in the past, I've been doing piano lessons, martial arts, sports, and different extracurriculars in school at the same time. And that's just overwhelming because I would want to get home and have a break, but have to do my homework and just time management's the biggest issue. It was every day. It was especially stressful for everyone, especially Andrew. It lowers my performance in school and in the extracurriculars too, and it's really, just, it's, it's not good. It's, it doesn't help with anything. It's a problem that concerns Dr. Christine Roth, a child and adolescent psychiatrist at Henry Ford Hospital. You're going to have a lot of people who, as adolescents and adults, absolutely don't know who they are because basically their time has always been scheduled for them. Roth says your child's mood is usually the first red flag of overscheduling. They may be irritable, anxious, or reluctant to go to activities. Feeling overly tired is another sign since activities often impact homework and sleep. There's a lot of value in moderation, I believe. Roth says it's also important for children to participate in activities they enjoy, even if they aren't the best. I hear parents all the time saying, well, you know, my son or my daughter really enjoys, you know, going to swimming, but, you know, isn't really that good. That's okay. They enjoy going to swimming. When your child does excel, Roth cautions, pushing too hard can backfire. I've seen children who were star athletes at a very young age completely couch potatoes in high school because they are just done with it. And you have to wonder, why are you so done with it? Well, probably because that wasn't that enjoyable for them. Roth is a mom herself. Daughter Alex is in the third grade. She understands it can be hard to do less when others keep doing more. You definitely have that feeling of, oh my gosh, am I sending her back? But she stresses all kids need downtime to relax and be creative. The Schulmans have taken that idea a step further, making unscheduled time a priority for their whole family. What's worked for our family is to designate a day for the family and friends, which means you can't get into a car. You can't get on your phone. You can't get in front of a TV. And it really works. We sleep, we eat, we play. We still feel busy, but it's not scheduled. And it's, it's wonderful. It's refreshing, really. I think that's the best way to put it. And it makes the busy weeks a little easier to take. We crave it by the end of the week. You know, when Friday rolls around, we're like, oh. You know, we, we really feel that TGIF. Ross says it's also important for parents to keep an open mind when it comes to activities. Drawing, cooking, or other hobbies can be just as fulfilling as formal lessons and often less stressful. Back to you. Wait a minute. It if, stresses me out just thinking of all the things. If you are scheduling unscheduled time, isn't that that scheduled time? That's scheduled time, <laughs> like we will be a family. Yes. I know, but sometimes that's the only way to figure uh, out how to have a dinner together, exactly and right. it's hard. Yep.